but just to kind of look at the gzip tool as well um, let me pull up a man page on that on gzip and if you were to look at the gzip tool um, it's just a, a compression tool it's kind of like winzip if you use windows but of course the, the g part of it is for the gnu um, you know sort of the, under the gnu uh, gpl or, or public license and sort of the, all of the open source um, but it uses uh, limpl ziv coding um, and it was part of a it was created by John Luke Gailey and Mark Adler. Um, free software replacement um, for the compression program in early Unix systems, and it was intended for use by the project version 01. It was first publicly released on October 31st, 1992. Well, remember, in 1992, that was when Linus Torvalds, um, you know, that, that was pretty much when Linux went public. I mean, he would sort of was developing Linux from Linux before that, but it kind of really went public and got got community support in 1992. That's when a lot of programmers from around the world started contributing and, and really helping to create this open source, uh, you know, GNU operating system. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of the man page there, but just a little bit of history of GZIP, and so it works kind of like WinZip, it's just a compression tool, um, a history, what it is, and then let's look at GZIP in action as well. So I'm going to come over here and, let's see, do a long listing, and I'm going to, again, I'm going to um, make another archive, okay, so sudo. I'm going to just make tar, and I'm going to say um, the switches I'm going to use. I want to back up the permission, and I want to create the file. Um, I'm going to use verbose, but I'm not going to use Z. I'm not going to compress it this time. I'm just going to specify the file name. And portal, and we'll call it uncompressed. Portal uncompressed dot tar. Oh, let me specify the wildcard as well. Or um, Not the wildcard in this instance. Let me just do portal 1. Okay, so I backed up portal one, and now there's portal uncompressed. And you know, if if you want to look at the difference in the file sizes here, this was with the Z option, so it's compressed and it's it's less than half the size. Whereas this, you know, this notice this file over here, it's not compressed. Or it has not been compressed with gzip. Now let's go ahead and look at the gzip tool. And if I wanted to use gzip, I could say sudo, and I would just say gzip. And I could say portal uncompressed dot tar. And now notice the file size. Right, so definitely a nice nice compression tool. Also notice that it changed or it tacked on the GZ extension. Okay. So if I wanted to decompress that file now, you know, before I can use it or untar it. The tarball, I would have to decompress it, just like if you had WinZip, you'd have to, you know, extract the file or decompress it if you're using WinZip or, or RAR archive. Similar process. So all I need to do is use gunzip, and some people affectionately call it gunzip, kind of like that. But gunzip, um, and then I would say a portal. I just want to specify the file name. And then now, and it kind of takes care of, you know, if that were Windows, you'd have to like delete the old copy and keep the new copy. And I mean, there's a lot, it's kind of neat that these tools take care of that for you. You know, they pretty much delete the old copy and give you the uncompressed or the compressed version with the appropriate extension. But again, you know, I'm back to, you know, now I'm back to a larger file size than I was before. So just two tools, tar and gzip, that you can use to back up folders, directories, entire applications subdirectories or you know if you want your entire system